It's shaky. <laughs> it's shaky, I know. This is the only soup, oh. Only go soup. Only the only Nigerian soup that I have seen that <laughs> doesn't require crayfish. I was shocked when those people from Edda land in a boy. Ah, everything about this soup is just too good. Emurebu, you will not kill somebody. Emurebu, you will not kill me in this life. Hello everyone, you welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I am so happy. I'm so glad. Like you'll be asking what's happening, guys, is because I am making a beautiful soup today. <laughs> this soup is every everything. If you haven't try the soup before if you haven't tested it before you will understand just go and try it go and watch my previous video on this every i will drop the link on the description box and also on the comment section so you go and watch the previous one you see that that video has the highest engagement so far like on my channel that video has the highest views the highest comment the highest like everything and i must thank you guys for you know watching for encouraging me you know for praising me the truth is that i feel Finish work in that video and you guys really acknowledge that you know like i said that i'm, a, I'm not actually from i'm not from a boy instead but that then this recipe you know originated from there precisely edda yeah it's edda about two persons say something about that soup which i want to now recreate like i want to do that thing that magic i want to do it in this particular video so don't go anywhere stay to the answer you see you see the secrets i tell you so i will you know i will unveil it as we go thank you and then if you are new to this channel please hit hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button everything at the same time thank you so guys let us begin here are the ingredients i'll be using i've got some snails dry fish yellow habanero pepper red oil onion seasoning cube salt um stockfish my mom already cooked beef though half done my ugu leaf i'll be using only ugu the one in the bottle is um what they call it ugu yeah ngu. it's gotten from dried palm front it replaces potash so guys, the next thing is to cook our stockfish. I'm adding the meat to it, the beef to it, uh, though it's halfway done. So they will start cooking uh, before I now add snail and the remaining orishi, orishi. I just added the meat stock to it. So let me move over to the next thing. Guys, you see those four more parts? Oh, I don't know how to explain it. See, this soup, like I said in my previous video, like the first Ibrebu I did. Ah, you are not permitted though to swallow <laughs> without accompanying that swallow with uh, with gomo, with anything, like anything good. It could be snail, it could be beef, it could be whatever. I'll move over to prep our vegetable. So I added some salt and then you don't need to squeeze just is a white bowl pour enough water and then be washing the yogurt in small quantity like you can see So I've changed the water. This is fresh water now, no salt. So I'll use it to I'll go again. Though this will go is very clean. There is no sand at all in it. Please don't squeeze. Just bring them out and place on a strainer. I was already boiling some water in the pot before washing the ugu. Now, the water I want to add the ungu to it. This ungu helps to, you know, you know, retain the green 
color of the ogo why it softens so i'm adding it so after adding it now i'll go i will cover the pot and allow it to boil before we put the ogo if it's potash that you have used potash or any of them as in can do the work So it is ready now to accept the ugu guys. This super. This super. So I'm trying to level it and then cover. Now we are back to our pot of meat and stock fish. So I just added the snail. I'm adding the slice for more. I want to season it with this seasoning so that it will be tasty. Now I'm adding the already washed dry fish. This fish, oh, I nearly finished everything. <laughs> So guys, the one thing about this soup that I didn't do. So this is two to three minutes after I added the vegetables. Guys, you can see the ugu is still greening inside the pot. It didn't change color. I'm going to be flipping over now and I will still leave it again for like a minute. Let's say a total of three minutes should be fine to do this, to do all this. Then I will save and move to the Eburebu part. <laughs> so this is the vegetable after blanching. So this is how I'm going to slice it, munch it, you know, I'm killing it. It is from this very <laughs> act or uh method of uh, slicing that this soup got its name its name from Iburebu. you know what i'm doing is to go i am killing it i am not slicing but i am killing it and i may be able if you are if, if you are from evil land you understand so actually this soup wants to look like afan soup but it is not afan afan soup is quite different the process so you know the leaf is quite different from what we're using you know to make this soup but this soup looks like it but it tastes better than afan i tell you the truth if you know how to cook it very well <laughs> you will like you prefer it to afan soup okay what is that very secret of this soup which some of us do not know this soup doesn't require crawfish it's shaky <laughs> it's shaky i know this is the only soup oh only Igbo soup only the only nigerian soup that i have seen that <laughs> doesn't require crayfish i was shocked when those people from edda land in a point state you know commented from uh, commented on my video the previous one i posted hmm, they say i killed everything about it, like i did justice to it like i represented them where another but then just that they don't use a crayfish <laughs> i was wondering how will you cook soup without adding crayfish uh -uh, is it doable <laughs> Anyway, I said I would try it because okay, I asked what is the main reason they say crayfish darkens the soup, you know, somehow. And I said, okay, I will experiment, you know, on this. Do you know, guys, I tried it. I did it, you know, for my husband without adding crayfish and this soup turned out so good. Like, it came out well. I'm like, ah, ah. so that is why I'm doing it again for you people to see. Oh. For you people to see, oh. <laughs> it shocked me. <laughs> <laughs> so guys this is what our orishi rishi you know looks like after boiling for many minutes so i've turned the uh, meat i've turned everything in a bowl in a separate plate i I'm, I'm using the same pot to make the soup so i just added my red oil we are not bleaching just heat up a little for some seconds or minutes then you add your onion 
see if you have problem with using onion to cook soup I do, I, it shouldn't be for this soup you really need onion for this soup so i this thing i'm showing you guys is salt i just added salt without you know showing you so i'm trying to tell you i just added salt to you know i usually like adding salt after my onion because it makes the onion tasty and this is the whole ngongo the whole thing i'm using for this soup guys this soup eh Bosha, if you can make it on a low key, as in you mustn't add all these things, you know, it's just if you wish to add and you can even add more, but then you have you have to increase the quantity of a uh, vegetable you are using. I'm using a small as in a small quantity of vegetable, which I don't know it to make this soup now it will not last because me, I want to enjoy this soup oh, at least for three good times. So, guys, this soup is local soup so i use my mortar to pound my yellow pepper so i'm adding it in i tested and i i tested i i saw <laughs> or i feel that it's the seasoning needs to be adjusted so i added more seasoning okay When you're staring, please be mindful of the way you do all these things so before everything will scatter. And I was busy eating the snail as I was cooking and staring. Yes. Guys, you know, like this, I tasted this soup with Eba and it was very sweet, even without adding the vegetable. Like, I just tasted this thing like this with Eba. Ah, everything about this soup is just too good. Emurebu, you will not kill somebody. Emurebu, you will not kill me in this life. What is it? So, I'm now adding the ugu. The munched ugu. The ugu that we killed. I'm adding it. And once you add this ugu, remember that we've already, you know, finished this ugu. Don't allow it to stay. Just stay and as in turn off your heat in fact. Just turn off the heat and turn off the you don't need to cover and allow it to boil and boil and boil again everything don't set for the soup like this as you see here it's paining me that i didn't use too much vegetable for this soup hmm. this, the vegetable is actually supposed to, that is the one mistake i made is it's actually supposed to be bigger than this so that the soup will last i could just use small vegetable for this for this whole thing I'm vesting already too. But sure, that is for you guys. <laughs> this soup, eh? hey, it is screaming deliciousness, deliciousness, deliciousness. Please, guys, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comment for me. And remember to go and watch the previous video. <laughs> Thank you. I love, love, love you. Bye.